Welcome to another top 5 of games under the radar. My name is Materius. Last time we did a top 5 of 2018. That video was well received so we are going to do another session and this is going to be a monthly session. So without any ado, these are the top 5 of April. The first game on the list is Pandora. Pandora is a game by Party Lama. Pandora is a game inspired by many hack and slash genres to create a beautiful world with stylish gameplay. The game is set by Greek mythologies and stories. And Party Lama is giving a little twist on this genre and this game. You play as the hero Pandora, who has been cruelly tricked into unleashing an ancient evil that plagues the entire world. You will be able to journey this beautiful land and fight the creatures in a hack and slash style. You will be able to handle strange weapons and get godly companions to aid you in your quest. On their website Party Lamas has set to release a demo in end of April, so uh, we will take a close look to this game. It will be released in quarter 3 of 2018. I will put a link down below to their website so you can visit them and keep a track on this game yourself. So let's use the piggy to go to game number 2 on our list. Game number 2 is a game by Ghost Ships Games. The name of the game is Deep Rock Galaxy. Deep Rock Galaxy is a 1 to 4 player co-ops. It has badass space dwarfs and is 100% destructive environment. It's a game set on Hoax 4 if I pronounce that right. And in the future space mining is the big business. You are a little dwarf that is going to work for Deep Rock Galaxies, specializing in securing the most dangerous dig sites in the galaxies. In this game it's Hoax 4. As you and your companion dwarfs go down the mines, you will face endless and endless hordes of alien monsters. This game is already released on Steam in Early Access, so I will put a link down below so you can find your way to Steam and get this game in Early Access. That way you and your friends can find your way to deep rock galaxies. The next game on the list is a little bit a strange one. I got tipped for this game by Reddit. The name of this game is Oblets. It's an upcoming farming creatures collection and town life indie game inspired by Pokemon Harvester Moon and Animal Crossing. So I guess that's a lot. In this game you can manage your farm, grow and train your Oblets, explore strange lands and battle wild oblets. This game is built about customization. You can change everything on your character and I guess also on your oblets. Once you do your customization you can go explore the world of oops. At this moment you can find the game in Steam but it hasn't been released yet. The release date has been set for 2008 but no real uh, specific date. At the moment this game only is in single player. But the developers also made it possible to put your wish list on their website. So I guess they already got the wishes. This should be a multiplayer because this game is made for multiplayer. But at this moment it hasn't been confirmed that this is going to be a multiplayer game. If you like games like Pokemon Harvest Moon and Animal Crossing, go down the link below and would put it in your wish list. Next game on the list is Starmancer. Starmancer is a game inspired by Dwarven Fortress. This game just reached a stunning goal on Kickstarter. In Starmancer, a disaster happened on Earth. The people from Earth created the project Starmancer. Volunteers got into space. Your mind has been fused with machine, creating an artificial human intelligence. There wasn't time to load everybody on the ark and their bodies were left behind on earth. You awoke in a strange solar system with a damaged ark and a corrupted core memory. There are many others like you, but you don't know how many and where they are. This game will have mutinies, pirate, diplomacy and your goal to keep your station alive. Your colonists are your lifeblood of your station. You need to keep them alive. You need to keep them happy. Every colonist has a backstory. They all have a moral and they all need a job. Most of them have skills, but some won't. 
there will be a class system in the game they will have relationships there will be rumors and a lot will go wrong you will play this game over and over and over because it has multiple endings multiple stories but how it all will go will depend on you will you be able to save your arc from invading robots or invading other arc people will your colonists live on long enough to be able to defend themselves at this moment you can still support this game by kickstarter and after uh, two months the alpha will be released if you support them enough they will give you access to the alpha the beta will be released six, three or six months after the alpha for now this game will be released on pc mac and Linux. so i cannot wait to play this game let's hope they finish it fast stormancer and now for the number five if you think you know a game that should be number five put it in the comment down below and i will take a look at it the best games will be put in the next video next month thank you for watching my name is materius and see you at the next top five under the radar